phones is you took the cups and inverted them upside down. Um, so it's very shallow. So you can just take your foot, kick out the ball. You can also use the head of your putter to take it out to keep safe. Um, we've removed all rakes from the bunkers. Um, so you can improve your lie in the bunker and then just use your foot, you know, to smooth it out afterwards if you can. Um, we've removed, <laughs> right? We've removed all, uh, all of our ball washers on the course as well too. Uh, restrooms are closed um, on the golf course. And then we ask you to stay, uh, you know, a safe six feet uh, away from each other. So I have kind of a visual here as well too. We've got a six foot PVC pipe just to kind of get an idea of how far six feet is away. A little further than you think, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> So we ask that you stay six feet away from each other and 30 feet away from the group ahead of you and the group behind you. Um, other than that, enjoy yourself. It's a beautiful day. Oh, great one. Welcome back. We're happy to see everybody. Crew Jocko C R U is my first name. Jocko J A C Q U O T. Just give me a quick rundown. Obviously, this is the first day at the Brea Golf Course Open. Yeah, you know, uh, no, it's nothing. We haven't been able to do anything for a long time. I work in the uh, grocery grocery stores, you know, and uh, it's been a long time that since we've been able to get out and go have a good time and just have some some social fun. Is this your normal golf course you come to? Uh, yeah, it's the closest to my house. Talk about the golf course. How? It looks beautiful, you know, nice and upkept, and hopefully we get to uh, have a have a good time today.
Uh, so you're going to give me your first, last name, and spell that out for me, please. Uh, Adam Farino. A-D-A-M-F-A-R-I-N-O. Just tell me how happy are you guys uh, opening up? Yeah, we're happy that we uh, are able to open up safely. Um, that's what we've been waiting on. We've been waiting on direction from the county of what they thought was safe and, and not. And so now that we have those guidelines, uh, we feel great that we're um, able to allow golfers to come out safely and enjoy some outdoor time. Okay, let's talk about you know, the precautions you guys are taking. Sure. So um, we do not have any groups uh, more than four. Um, we have told them uh, to keep within the guidelines of uh, at least six feet away for social distancing. Um, we have told them to stay 30 uh, feet away from the group ahead of them and the group behind them. We've closed down uh, restrooms. We have removed flag sticks from the course. We have removed rakes from bunkers. Um, and we told them to improve their lie in the bunker and then just kind of use their foot um, to smooth it out. So everybody seems to be pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, so yeah, very safe. Okay. And what, and your hours of operation, are they gonna remain the same or not at all? They are, so we have actually implemented um, spacing between our tee times to keep a little bit more distance between groups. Um, but our hours of operation, we will close down a little earlier as we will not, our restaurant won't be open. Um, and our, obviously our, our restaurant and bar are closed. So um, they'll, they'll be shortened a little bit in the evening, but for the most part during the day, we'll be open. Okay, and obviously when people are referring to equipment, you guys are going out and you know, just- Sure, so any contact point of anything that we have is sanitized before. Um, we have pull carts that we're renting out and as a return, they are sanitized before they are um, again rented out again. As are we, uh, we're sanitizing our golf balls as we wash them, sanitizing buckets. So any point in contact with anything, as limited as that is, uh, we're sanitizing every element of those. How do you uh, see the future? Is this gonna be a, a norm for you guys from now on, uh, being a little bit more careful on uh, sanitizing and stuff like that? Sure, I, I think we're gonna follow guidelines as they come out. I think that this is gonna be evolving um, and, and will continue to evolve. So I, I think that we'll follow whatever is deemed, uh, you know, whatever guidelines are put out, we'll follow them, absolutely.